ES Audio. Hi, I'm John Weeks, and this is the Evening Standards Tech and Science Daily. Coming up, Instagram spooky outage. But first, NASA has greenlit a mission to a faraway asteroid that could be the core of a long dead planet in the hope it will reveal more about the origins of the Earth. 16 Psyche lies in the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter and has attracted attention because, unlike other space rocks, it appears to be made of gold and some other metals. If a probe confirms it's the remains of a lost world, researchers believe it will help the study of how planets, including the one we're standing on, develop. Researchers in Canada are warning dangerous bacteria that lives in sewage could become resistant to antibiotics because of certain household items being flushed down the drain. Things like soap and toothpaste can contain the chemical triclosan, which fights off bacteria. But experts in Ontario believe because of the sheer quantity of these products being flushed away, bacteria that exists in sewage sludge risks becoming increasingly used to it. They're worried the bacteria could develop into a superbug, potentially making it invulnerable to the treatments we currently rely on. Now, the UK is getting a brand new rocket launch pad based in a peat bog in Scotland. It's going to be built and run by Scottish rocket manufacturer Orbex, and it's hoped it'll operate up to 12 launches a year. It's a boost for the UK satellite industry, as manufacturers currently have to ship their spacecraft abroad to be sent into orbit. Orbex is currently building what it calls the world's most environmentally friendly space rocket, which will have a 3D printed engine, a reusable structure, and will run on clean burning propane fuel made from vegetable waste. Instagram has apologized for yesterday's spooky outage on the app, which locked some users out of their accounts and temporarily changed some people's follower numbers. Down Detector reported more than 7,000 outages at its peak, and some celebrities' accounts were also affected. Cristiano Ronaldo appeared to have lost 3 million followers for a time, and Instagram's own primary account was down by over a million. But Insta confirmed on Twitter last night that it has now resolved the bug. Still no news on whether Halloween had anything to do with it. Researchers going through the rainforests of an island off the west coast of Africa have discovered a new species of owl. The bird was found on Principe Island and has been officially named the Principe Scops Owl. Scientists were only able to confirm it existed back in 2016, but local testimonies suggest it could have lived there as far back as 1928. The species has now been photographed on the island. Experts said it has a unique call, a short two note, repeated quickly at around one note per second which is very similar to the sounds of some insects. Coming up, rumours GTA Online could let gamers make their own music. During the break, why not hit follow and give us a rating? Welcome back. Researchers at Cambridge University have found rhino's horns have gradually shrunk over the last 100 years, and they believe it's down to hunting. Experts said poachers would hunt for those with the biggest horns to sell them on, meaning only those with the smallest survived. They said these rhinos are now passing on their smaller traits to future generations. Rhinos are thought to have evolved with horns to help them grasp food or defend themselves, and experts believe having smaller horns will be detrimental to their survival. They are an endangered species, and there are currently just 30,000 left in the wild. Research shows making sure trees are incorporated into farming could help the sector achieve net zero. Experts at the Woodland Trust said farms which integrate trees into arable farming, for example big crops like wheat and barley, could lock up 8 tonnes of CO2 per hectare per year over 30 years. For context, 8 tonnes of CO2 is equivalent to the annual emissions of a single UK citizen. The report is out as the government's expected to outline its plans for the future of farming and land management policy a week today. And finally, it's reported a future update to GTA Online will let players make their own music in the game. What If Gaming believe it's coming soon and believe there have been clues to such a feature. 
They say Take-Two Interactive, Rockstar's parent company, registered the domain Rappinator.com back in October 2020, which could be linked, and they reckon it's a similar name to the music mixer released by Rockstar in 2009 called Beaterator, which came out in collaboration with Timberland. You're up to date. Come back at four o'clock for the Leader Podcast for the latest news and analysis from the Evening Standard. We'll be back tomorrow afternoon at one. See you then.